I am going to be frank with you, I've been doing it wrong. Now, wrong might be the wrong word. If anything, I was doing things the most securely by opening several emails, each with a different function, thoroughly planned out for its use case to properly compartmentalize the respective accounts. I take this pretty seriously. In my book, a username or email can be just as important as a password. Firefox Relay came out, and it was one of the more mainstream options I saw for an email alias service, though it's exclusive to Firefox, it has several limitations, it's in beta, and I'm not really a hardcore Firefox or Mozilla user. So I pushed the idea completely under the rug, sticking to my very old school, yet secure approach to use countless emails dedicated to specific tasks. Simple Login reached out for a review, and I had no idea what it was going into it. It's not like Privacy Tools IO has it in an easy to find place. But once I used it, it was a game changer. Simple Login is a fully open source email alias service that you can download for free from Fdroid, a browser, or any of their other platforms. You create a mailbox using an email you already own, then you create aliases for that mailbox, which you can name whatever you want using several different domains. From here, you register for a new account, newsletter, or anything as you normally would. We'll cover use cases later. When that service sends a code or verification email, it's going to go to your normal email inbox, but from the Relay service. In other words, the account you registered for has no idea what your real email is. This is already fantastic, but if it seems inconvenient, they have something called directories, where you pick a directory, then invent the alias as you register for an account, negating the need to ever even interact with Simple Login. This is very similar to Spam Gourmet, but it's integrated in a more centralized method with other features. You can even respond to this email by responding to the reverse email, or you can go in the app and copy the reverse alias manually. This means the person you're emailing never sees your original email, offering a much better layer of privacy and security than the simple plus trick. Now, so far this has been personal. I doubt many people watching have over 10 emails, all compartmentalized, so let's talk more real world applications and why you might care. The obvious one, you can set up several emails, maybe one for social media, one for shopping, family, friends, and maybe one for dating. It's limitless. This offers the benefit of privacy and security through the aliases by preventing the other party from ever knowing your real email, like your creepy date or Zuckerberg, maybe they're one and the same. Ensuring your main email has a much lower likelihood of being caught in a breach since only the alias will be breached, which also helps protect your passwords. Not allowing advertisers and websites to link up your different accounts through a central email. And aside from that, you can keep this more specific. Maybe you want to try a newsletter, but you're not really sure about it. Create a new alias using the name of the newsletter, then in a month, if you realize you hate it and they make it hard to unsubscribe, just open Simple Login and delete the alias. It's done. You can even use Simple Login for more temporary accounts, like an alternative to Temp Mail or 10 Minute Mail. It may not be as convenient, but it has a serious edge. I was able to use a simple login alias to register for an Amazon, Twitter, TikTok, Google, and even Facebook allowed my alias after switching to a different domain. None of these services will likely let you register with a temporary email service like Tentmail or even Gorilla Mail. So as of today, that's a huge perk even on the temporary front. And if you use the directories I talked about earlier, it's actually quicker and more convenient than these temporary email services. To add a layer to this, you can create multiple inboxes. So you can have three emails, each with its own series of aliases tied to only those applicable emails. So it, it's really limitless. It's versatile yet simple, making it a useful tool for really anyone, regardless of their threat model and how much they even value privacy and security. Now, just because I love it doesn't necessarily mean it's perfect. First, I wish the apps had more settings, which have none. You can't change themes, and there's really nothing there, though at least the iOS version follows the system theme. Which, gosh darn it, everything in 2020 should just be doing at this point. I don't know why. Every operating system has a system theme, and every app can just go with the system theme. Just do that, everybody, please. <laughs> In order to configure things like your profile and 2FA, you have to log in online, which I consider a very cumbersome solution for mobile users. 
On that note though, it's very nice. This isn't just limited to mobile. You can log in from any web browser. And in fact, they have extensions for browsers to automate the service. The ecosystem is pretty well thought out, even having a Safari extension, which is relatively rare. Another caveat is you are placing some trust in simple login, though not as much as you might think, considering everything they do is open source and they're very transparent with how they handle themselves. Even if you don't trust them, you can self-host this yourself, similar to how you can self-host Bitwarden. Simple Login is, in my book, criminally underrated. It has 37 reviews on the Play Store and 11 on the App Store as of the time that this video is being produced. Despite being a cheap, if not free, with its generous free plan, and completely open source project that prioritizes security and privacy. Aside from offering a quality service, they offer a useful feature set and use case that I feel is overlooked. The only other major option is Anon Daddy, which is another great tool we want to look into down the road, so subscribe if you want to catch that in the future. And the best part, even if you're not a privacy and security person, or the person that you know in real life isn't, I still think a lot of friends and family may actually love this tool. No one enjoys spam and no one likes a cluttered inbox and everyone likes convenience. So privacy and security aside, there are still lots of things that people can gain from a service like this. So kudos to Simple Login. I overall really love the tool. And that was our review of Simple Login. If you enjoyed the review, make sure to give it a like below if you like this kind of content and you wanna see more like it in the future and make sure to subscribe to actually watch it in the future. Thanks again for watching. Thanks especially to all of our supporters and our Patreon members and I'll see you next time.